Oxford Brick Festival was just down the road from me, and a few of my friends in the LEGO community got together to work on some Star Wars collaboration builds for the show. How's it going guys? It's Thomas on Planet Tech, and in this video, I'll be documenting my process of preparing to display a LEGO Star Wars mock for the first time at a convention. I'll get into the details of the build later on, but for now, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and enjoy as we jump straight into the video. Just finished my midweek stream and uh, yeah, made a start on the collaboration project. I've just been using the parts that I've currently got in my collection um, because I need to just go through, just skim through quickly against my Brooklyn quarters, make sure everything's in the packages. I'm still waiting on like two or three packages, I think. Yeah, hopefully they come in tomorrow. Got a little bit done. Um, I got some work ahead of me for sure. But um, but I'm kind of kind of comfortable confident. I'm not going too mad with the with the like textures in the walls because a lot of it's going to be covered up anyway. But I do want to just give a little bit. It's obviously not going to be on the base plate. I was just building that because I'm hoping the plates are all in there. The uh the space is an absolute tip. It was it was relatively tidy before the stream, but yeah, here we are now. <laughs> So this is where I got about up to last night. Not too much. I kind of hit a bit of a hole because I was actually needing a lot more pieces than I thought uh, that I was still waiting on. But I now have the three packages, the final packages here now. I can actually get on. Obviously, you can tell by this one, there's going to be quite a lot of pieces in there. But yeah, I was starting like little things, trying to put more plate over this building. Um, but yeah, I'm just missing some uh crucial pieces so i'm really not going to do too much tonight i might actually just put together the black border i can show you guys that uh also sorry for the framing on the time lapse on the last one that was awful so so apologies for that and i will try to do better on the next one but uh yeah i'm pretty happy with like the level of detail in here like i said a lot of this is going to be covered up anyway this is all going to be covered up by the awning as will uh this will be closed covered up by a load of the tables and then there's going to be like the gray bar all the way around that anyway so um yeah it was just finding like the right amount i didn't want to completely overdo it i am starting to think that this is a lot of dark tan i have put small parts of um medium nougat in there which i'm again i'm happy with those kind of proportions but i'm wondering if making this dark tan is going to be too much um and i might keep the edges dark tan um, and then maybe one stud all the way round or something and then I might do it in light bluish grey tile but um, yeah I'll kind of play about with that but yeah having all the pieces now is a massive bonus. <laughs> So here we have the progress and it's pretty late and excuse the tip around because it just gets messier and messier by the uh, <laughs> by the clip. But yeah, I managed to get pretty much all of the base done with just um, some one by one plates on each corner uh, missing, but I can find those that wouldn't take too long to find hopefully. But yeah, we've got the main structure of the building done. Uh, we've just got the uh, screen to go on top of there now. But yeah, I'm really happy with this like balcony slash like cantina area. On the stream, I asked if I should tile this over in dark tan or if I should do light bluish gray. Um, I think dark tan probably slightly edged it, but there is a lot of dark tan in this mock, as you can see. So I figured just having a little bit of gray in there to break it up a bit. Um, it was like a concrete kind of sub base. And then um, Martin Bricksnaps suggested putting some sand blue uh, hints in there. So I've done that. I put some dark... Um, bluish gray as well and also a couple of uh, small hints of sand green yeah just to kind of break it up so it's not completely smooth these are to have the awnings on so i need to put those on as well and then yeah we just got to do all the terrain on the floor so this is actually um, a plate lower than the border at the moment um, but it's going to be pretty much flush it might go up and probably up down but it might yeah it might go up and down or just a like a plate or two um as i put the terrain in and then we've got the market section over here so that's pretty much pretty good um, i've just left the top off at the moment because uh it's just easier to get in so i think i'm gonna have one be food orientated and one be weapon orientated got a little bit to do but that's that's me done for tonight i am i'm shattered <laughs>
Okay guys, so we made it to Oxford Brick Festival. Let's go show the collab project and the mocks that I bought to put on display. Okay, so first up, I decided to bring my Monkey Kid uh, recolors of the X-Wing and TIE Fighter. Figured I'd put these on display. Really happy with these, glad I did. Um, and yeah, people getting doing a lot of love for these. The TIE Fighter is literally just a recolor. I added um, a couple of the horns um, and the gold ring on the outside, uh, but most of the build of that is literally just straight color piece swap. Um, the X-Wing was a little bit more different. Um, the front nose is different because of the, just the pieces available. Um, as well, some of the guns and some of the engines are slightly different, but the main bulk of the, of the set is uh, is based off that uh, 2020 X-Wing and TIE Fighter build. So yeah, really happy with these, really like these a lot. So at this point, I am milking this 501st Mosaic for absolutely everything it's worth, or not worth. Um, I'm actually putting together another one of these on my live stream, so you can check that out. 8.30 UK time every Wednesday. Um, but yeah, we're coming to an end with that one, and I will be starting another one very soon. But yeah, this one's on display, and I'll be displaying that one at the next convention I go to as well. Okay, so here is the final product. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, to be honest. It was a bit rushed. There was still some stuff that um, Nick and uh, SW helped me out with this morning, just putting the last few plates and tile and stuff down on the ground. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this looked. Um, so yeah, we've just got some people. We've got some Jawas here. Uh, we've got a Rodian. It's just Rebel Trooper. I mean, not a Rebel Trooper at this point. Um, but yeah, we've got the Mandalorians up here as well. Um, and they're watching Palpatine's big announcement to the Senate um, talking about how the Jedi have um, turned on the Republic. Um, we've got these custom stickers I got made. Um, shout out to Holly on film again. Holly, thank you so much for uh, doing this render for me. And then yeah, I got them made into stickers. So we've got the big one up on the display there with the speakers. And then we've also got some small ones um, on these little screens as well with uh, Embo, Grief Carga, and just some other people. Not specifically those, obviously, because of the time, but uh, but yeah, these awning pieces I really like. They're from the cantina, um, and this building is just for facade. There's no interior, um, but I really like the technique I got around the window and the doors all match. And uh, yeah, we've got some uh, some lamp posts here, um, and then over here we have a Jedi running from some 91st Recon troopers. Uh, obviously, this is uh, Prime Order 66 time, so this is what's going on here. And then over here we've got like a bit of a market area. Um, and we've got like an armory in there. We can just about see the weak way in there um, And he's got some gun racks and stuff uh, in there and then we've got one of the bull clones going to uh, Buy some guns and then over here. We've got Pigsy as you know guys. I love monkey kid and so uh, Yeah, I'll throw some Easter eggs in there where I can uh, he's got some food for sale in there um, but yeah, that's the that's the color project. I'm definitely gonna go back and work on it and add some more to it because um, it's not quite how I wanted it. And so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back and, um, and make sure I get this mock finished for sure. Okay, so we'll take a closer look at some of the other projects in the collaboration as well. So this is Ben's, Ben Bricks's um, mock. So this is Prime Clone Wars era. Basically the kind of brief for the collaboration was we picked one planet and we've all taken um, a snapshot of it from uh, various points in the Star Wars timeline. So Ben did Clone Wars era, this looks really nice. We've got a battle with the droids here. Uh, nice trench there. I really like that. Um, and that cannon looks really, really sweet as well. So that's really good fun. Then we got onto mine. Like I said, this is Order 66 in its prime. And as you can see, people are gathering around to watch Emperor Palpatine's speech. And yeah, we've got even got the remnants of the 91st Recon hunting down this, uh, this random Jedi here. And then this one is Sean's or Brick Sheeper. This is really, really nice. I like this a lot. This is the start of the Imperial era as they start to become quite brutal towards the locals on the planet. So this is really, really nice. Onto SW's now. He's gone for a, a bit of a base here. A little rebel base. Got a little Porg hiding up there as well. Very, very nice. I've got the river running through and these Imperials getting some orders there from Palpatine. But yeah, looking really, really sweet. And they seem to come across a Jedi as well. So. That's really nice, really like the, uh, the terrain on that one. Over to Studio 64. This is really, really sweet. So these, uh, these hostiles are looking to take over this base, this Imperial base, which is really nice. Uh, Studio 64 has painted a custom incinerator trooper, which looks absolutely insane. Love the door design as well on there. Um, but this is really, really nice. Really like this a lot. Yeah, these rebel, rebel fighters look really, really sweet as well. So this is a very nice job, I like that a lot. 
Okay, over now to Nyx or Gecko's The Griebling King. Uh, this is just insane. This base is awesome. Again, more rebels attacking an Imperial base. Uh, this is just sweet. We've got some of them juggernaut pilots up there. Some of those damaged uh, stormtroopers are really sweet. Got the rebels climbing in to the base here. We've even got the water over spilling, which I really, really like. But yeah, the textures and stuff that Nick manages to get in his builds are just phenomenal. Like, uh, very, very inspiring to me. So really good job, Gecko. And he does have a bit of interior as well. So you've got a bit of the Dark Trooper project in there. They've infiltrated the base there to uh, to try and get these uh, rebel prisoners out. So really, really sweet job there from Nick. And then onto Sam's, not that Sam Smith. This is insane. I mean, it definitely didn't look like this when it rocked up this morning, but it's phenomenal. Again, the textures and stuff in this base are just incredible. Um, and we've got some really cool figures and stuff in here as well. We've got that hologram piece as well. I need to get me one of those because they are sweet. We've even got Darth Jar Jar there. Uh, so yeah, the Bulio. So yeah, they're just bursting through this base. But the shape of this is really, really sweet. Honestly, really, really like this a lot. Uh, so Sam has done an absolutely top job uh, with this build. So these builds have featured in quite a lot of my every LEGO Star Wars mock at X uh, LEGO convention, but this is Brick Sheeper or Sean, um, and these builds, his the animal builds that he do he produces are just so incredible. I mean, we'll start with the sail bars. That's really really nice. Um, but yeah, these animals. I'm not a fan of brick built animals, but these are just incredible. The shapes he manages to get, he really really captures the essence of these Star Wars animals really well. And I would definitely use these in mocks, especially this Rancor. I love that a lot. Uh, I really like the Zero the Hut as well. Got some really nice color swap of the Jabba build as well. So we've got a scene from Jabba's Palace as well. We've got Max Rebo. Love it. Really, really good stuff. So Ben really stepped up. He bought part of the collaboration product and he also bought his massive Navarro mock as well. This is really, really sweet. Again, I've been following this one on, uh, on YouTube. You can too. Ben Bricks. Strongly suggest you go check them out for weekly updates on this series. But yeah, this is really cool from The Mandalorian. Love this a lot. Got all these stormtroopers down here. And just captures that battle scene really, really well. Uh, we even got Quill around here with Baby Yoda. Really, really cool stuff from Ben. Love this a lot. And you've got scenes in there as well. And then the underground where all the Mandalorians are hiding. So really sweet job from Ben. Love this mark. Moving on over to Sam's skiffs. Now, I mean, it really would have been nice if he had brought the Juggernaut with him. What do you mean, Tech? It's right here. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, just the skiffs on display today from his Morat project. You can check that out on his channel. It's really, really good. Uh, I strongly suggest you go follow it. Really but these skiffs are uh, very, very nice. 